Hey there YouTubers, all right, so Dell Inspiron 3670 PNY GTX 1650. We're gonna put this in here. Hopefully everything will go well. You know, I usually don't do these uh, video card installations step by step, but you know what? I feel like I might have shortchanged a few of you when I did the other video card installation because I did not go through the steps after I put this in. <laughs> so, um, I just got this. Normally they're uh, anywhere from a $150 to $200 and Best Buy actually sells this for $200 so um, I'm not even sure where it would be at $150 maybe Newegg if you're lucky but uh, this should vastly improve this now couple things to be concerned about recommended system power um, at least excuse me your power supply is recommended to be at least 300 watts for the entire system okay the TDP on this is probably 75 watts if I remember correctly um, PSU is only 290 watts now is that going to be a problem most likely not um, you know if it is there's a couple things we could do uh, to make sure that we're we stay under 300 watts um, but uh, I don't have any hard drives, mechanical hard drives. Um, you know, some of my videos I've shown three additional hard drives added. Uh, we've got a uh, M.2 NVMe in here. We, uh, you know, could disconnect the DVD drive since I never use it. Um, and that's about it, folks. Uh, not a whole lot taking uh, energy up. Alright YouTubers, Dell Inspiron 3670 PNY GTX 1650. I'm going to install this. I'm going to do, I think, every step for you all in case you have one or you get one used like I uh, I did. Normally these, uh, at least at Best Buy, $200. Uh, some of the GTX 1650s drop down to $150. I've seen a brand new $139.99 uh, plus tax. So fact I got this for 102 is a really good deal and uh, so I took the case off I figure you guys can handle doing that without me um, easy enough to do loosen up the uh, the screws or the uh, on both ends um, so what we have to do first is take this off so we can get these guys out of here and uh, you know, previous videos I've thrown in a power supply. I have done all kinds of upgrades to this, so make sure you check those out. Uh, one of the watch lists that I have show you all kinds of videos that you, all kinds of upgrades. And uh, you know, if you watch them and you're like, well, you didn't really explain some stuff, um, you know, go ahead and tell me, cause uh, I can always redo those videos. At least as long as I have this, uh, as long as I have this computer, um, I have been trying to get rid of it just because I build my own custom computers. It doesn't you know, uh, make a lot of sense to hold on to it forever uh, once I've made all the videos showing you guys what you can do with them. All right, so this is uh, actually single wide. So I'm sitting here trying to remove a second one because I'm talking, not paying attention. You only need to remove the one bay, and hopefully I grab the right one. So um, let's make sure we can see that. So you want to make sure that you line this, uh, the shorter one up with that, and obviously the longer one's going to go in that slot. All right, snapped in there, boom. All right. So you could screw this down, or we can just clamp it back in place. I'm going to clamp it back in place because. Uh, I don't know how long this graphics card is going to stay in this computer, to be honest with you. I'm going to do uh, some benchmarks, uh, probably play some games on it, give you guys an idea of the FPS. Now, this is an upgraded CPU in here, folks. Let me move that back. Uh, in my opinion, for gaming, the, this is the i3-9100. Uh, from what i actually seen around here, I almost feel like this performs better than the i5-8400. 
it's you know game dependent. Uh, if you don't need all the additional cores, then uh, this has uh, got better single core score, and I believe the the quad core score is better. Multi core score would would be less though. All right, so this is in. Um, what I don't have is my power cable. I'm going to need that. I've got HDMI around here somewhere. HDMI. Hopefully it'll reach. Hopefully I won't destroy this TV. I've got to give this TV back to Best Buy. It's on loaner. All right, so that's there. So it's kind of hard to do this, folks, with uh, the gear I have here. Um, matter of fact, let me do this differently for y'all. Alright, so plug the HDMI in. Okay. I'm trying to do this step by step so you guys see every everything and I don't shortchange you. Alright, HDMI's in. Now you don't need me uh, for plugging the power in, but let's find a power cable. You know, I'm blessed to have all this equipment around here, CPUs. Um, blessed to be able to get graphics cards. Of course, I don't hold on to all this stuff because even though I can get the stuff in here, I can't afford to have keep everything. So eventually it has to go. All right, so we've got the power in. We could close this up. Um, Surprisingly, this computer just started up on its own. That's kind of scary. So let's turn the monitor on. All right. I've got to plug the USBs in for the keyboard. And then I will take, uh, I'll turn this light off and back up a little. So you all can see the uh, total installation. All right, so turn the monitor on. Zoom out a little bit. So you know we've got a lot of uh, graphics cards in here that outperform this thing, but. Um, it brings me a lot of a lot of joy to be honest with you to install this and hopefully prove that it'll work. The only way to really find out if it's going to work is to uh, play games on it. Now I do, like I said, I have an SSD in here. God, this Fire TV was so fast, and now it's like a total dog. I don't know what is wrong with it. Come on, wake up. Okay. No signal, so let's turn the computer on. We do have RAM in there. I think I've got an 8 gig stick of RAM. Um, and we should already honestly have the... We should already have... Yeah, that's fine. There's a message that came up said the uh, amount of RAM had changed, and that's mainly because I uh, borrowed RAM. All right, so it's booting up. So that is good, right? That's what you want to see. Now, just because it's going to boot up doesn't mean we're we're ready to go, though. We need our drivers. Um, it is quite possible if you uh, use this long enough that Windows will. Um, find those drivers for you and one day you will have everything installed that you need to but uh, we're not going to wait for Windows we're going to get it done today hopefully so if you're out there and you've already bought this and installed it I'd love to hear your comments what you think of the GTX 1650 installed in the uh, Dell Inspiron now remember there are multiple versions of the GTX 1650, okay? You do not want to get the one that has a six pin GPU connector because it will not work. So in case you don't know what that is, let me grab one.
All right, so here's another car that actually worked in this computer. This is GTX 750. On top, there's no GPU connector, and I'll, like I said, I'll show you in a second what that is. This is barely an improvement over uh, Intel's UHD 630 graphics, but uh, it is an improvement, and these are super cheap. So, GTX 950, you would think this would also work, right? No. Six pin GPU connector, okay? You would have to get a, uh, a new power supply, which I have done some videos upgrading the power supply in this, uh, just so you can see it. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, check this out. It actually, the way it booted up, almost looks like it's uh, good to go. So I'm gonna turn the camera the side. Hey, there's my disaster of a, of a basement living room. So, all right, so we're back on screen. Now, one thing you cannot see probably, let's move in a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move the computer up a little bit. There is uh, something going on down here. Oh wow, mouse does not work good on um, granite countertops. Okay, that's War Thunder. We don't care about War Thunder right now. War Thunder! All right, so that's gonna slow down the uh, benchmark. Now let me see, can we display uh, 4K, yeah, we can. That almost makes me think the drivers have been installed, folks, um, which would be really surprising. Let's go ahead and run the benchmark. You know, normally I'd go ahead and get the drivers, but if this works, um, if it will actually work, then the drivers were installed somewhere. Another way to tell usually is if the sound is uh, got a red X through it, usually that means you don't have the drivers. But if this does not work, uh, I do need to show you the way you get the drivers in case you don't have a driver disk. Uh, it's pretty simple. But we'll, we'll go through the benchmark first. If I see three zeros across the top, that's going to tell me, okay, I don't have drivers. If I get some actual numbers, uh, the drivers are on there and we're going to be uh, pretty much good to go. Now I don't have, I don't think I have too many games on this. I have War Thunder, which I'll have to check to see if that is a game that you can pull FPS off of. But I will probably uh, download uh, Fortnite to it. And uh, I may just go ahead and do Battlefield 5. I'd love to see what a 1650 can do. Uh, or I will take it over to my main gaming rig and pull out my good graphics card. Uh, and try it out and see what we come up with. But I'm trying to remember, I think they've said this is competitive with the AMD RX 570. Uh, maybe the overclocked one, or excuse me, the, uh, the one with the six pin GPU connector. Because the megahertz is a little higher on it. All right, so um, we probably have high CPU usage. Yeah, so there's a, who knows how accurate these numbers are. Uh, but you know what? For gaming, this is not really that bad, folks. Um, I'm going to run it again. And uh, right now I'm going to stop the, the video until I get a, uh, a good low score so we can really look at the numbers and I can talk about it. Otherwise, I'm wasting everybody's time. All right, so we got the benchmark done, finally. Ended up with 5% computer usage, not perfect, but uh, I think we'll move on. Gaming, 47%. Now, if I remember correctly, 1050 Ti in here would be maybe low 40s with the setup I have. Um, if you don't have some of the components that I have in here, you're probably in the high 30s. Desktop score is great. This thing will surf the internet all day. 
and you would obviously be able to do Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Office products all day long with this. A workstation, it's just barely getting to the point where this would be decent for a, a CAD computer. Um, as well as for uh, doing video editing, maybe in whatever people do in Photoshop that requires a lot of power. Uh, so, not too bad. I, I would actually be somewhat happy with this computer for uh, if I was working in an office. Now, let's go down a little bit. The graphics score is not too good uh, in comparison to a GTX 1070. And I am fully expecting easily to do 1080p gaming um, on quite a few games. And I will try and push this into the 2K and to try it if capable 4K. Uh, did not bother to Google to see if this is capable 4K. Uh, we will find out though. Now here is the, uh, the benches for the CPU. Uh, i3 is running quite well. Usually it's in the 90 percentile so uh, I have a feeling the Dell uh, setup is dragging it down. When I have this with a nice motherboard, it uh, usually scores out better. But, uh, you know, not too bad. If you go back a few years ago, um, this is probably an i5-7400 type uh, numbers right there. Now here's the bench for the 1650, performing above expectation. Uh, so that's great. Of course, this, this was a 6-pin version. Uh, we'd probably get even better scores out of it. Uh, this is, you know, this is okay. Um, nothing, not breaking any records with that. And then I don't have my fastest uh, SSD in there. Uh, I don't even have my fifth fastest SSD in here. But uh, not too bad of a score. Uh, Samsung 960 EVO, uh, pretty good read score. You know, if you run the crystal disc, it'll tell you something ridiculously high compared to that. Um, so who knows which one's really right. But uh, yeah, so that is uh, the beginning of this. We've installed the graphics card. And uh, in case you are, um, yours doesn't end up working out like mine did, what you would do is type... GTX 1650 drivers and we're going to go into NVIDIA and support, support, support oops, sorry drivers okay, then over here manual driver search, so this is a uh, 16 series. It's not a notebook though. Alright, so um, the camera stopped recording. GeForce GT 16 series. Then under here, GTX 1650. And then you're going to hit search, start search. And you would click on this to download it. And then I'm actually just going to save it to my desktop. And then from there, uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to hit run. So uh, that's about it. You follow the steps that it tells you, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.